is Sacred Stories. And I think that it, it can be really valuable and helpful for our Sacred Stories family if you wouldn't mind sharing, you know, a little bit more about yourself and your story about how you really do that. How do you really balance, you know, having your PhD from Yale University in neurobiology and using Arcturian healing energy at the same time? How how, how does that work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, um, you know, as you were talking, um, what it reminded me of was the period in between uh, when I was in, had graduated from uh, undergrad from Stanford and then was deciding where to go at that point, which I think, you know, all of us go through that, I guess, initiation period in, in modern times, sort of whether to go through one type of in, um, initial job or continue on with a higher degree. And I think as most uh, of your speakers probably have uh, said or as part of their framework is that consciousness is a frequency. And I could tell on when I was really considering going into a more holistic degree uh, right after my bachelor's degree. And uh, I think my father had some influence. He really, you know, was um, more strongly in the sciences. But I could tell that the consciousness um was quite different and was very difficult at that point to do uh, both at the same time. Now, in science, uh, particularly in the training, you really have to be very focused um, in a very concrete way. And it almost, uh, in some ways, at least in the training period, closes down some of the more um, holistic aspects uh, not, not when you get into the actual practice of science, but more like when you have to, a little bit like regurgitate the facts, pass the classes, and, uh, you know, qualify and so forth. So it's a really, it's a different frequency of consciousness. It's very concrete. And whereas, like, in a more, uh, where people are sensitive, uh, are aware, uh, clairvoyant, it's a different frequency of consciousness. And I think later on in the scientist's life, or when they have more freedom, they bring all of that to bear. But in that initial training period, it's quite different. I like how you said that a different frequency of consciousness, because we, it truly is completely different from the concrete way that you're talking about scientists learn and walk in the world to a great degree versus let's say, highly sensitive empaths or energy workers that actually feel, you know, feel um, and see and hear, you know, different transmissions. Yeah, exactly. A little later on sort of in the kind of personal story note um, or vein, uh, when I was actually doing my thesis, which is the challenge in doing the thesis is that you're creating something, or you, not that you're creating, but you're discovering something that no one has discovered before. Um, and, and that's the challenge because, um, you know, that there's no necessary time limit if, if you can't quite find something new. So people could be doing their PhD for nine years. Um, some can get it done in four years. A lot of it has to do with luck. So, but I do remember that um, I used uh, a lot of intuition in terms of um, helping me to steer which way to go to sort of find new things. So uh, even at that point, it was a chance to kind of marry the, you know, both this concrete knowledge as well as, well as intuition. Mm 